Sana Sabali, uh, senior member of the Armed Forces Provisional Ruling Council, who is implicated in several executions, has admitted to arresting and humiliating senior officers of the Gambia Police Force for reportedly staging a counter coup after the July 22nd military takeover. Testifying today at the TRRC, Sabali said he has found uh, senior officers in the office of Ibrahim Chongan after receiving a tip from an unnamed female police officer while he was at State House. Sabali told the commission that their coup was precipitated by the presence of Nigerians in the country coupled with other factors such as corruption by senior government officials. Sajo Sambu gives us more. Sanabi Sabali was the former vice president of the Jame regime and has been a key in decision making and the pioneer of the coup up till the time he fell out with the former president Jame, where he was jailed for nine years before being released then flee to Senegal for his life when he thought he is being targeted by the government. Sanabi Sabali told the commission about the rampant corruption, oppression, political intolerance, nepotism during the PPP regime, compelled the military to overthrow the government in order to change the injustice in the system and save our dear land from doom. Sanabi recall when his dad passed away, he went to the justice minister to get his dad money in numerous occasions but was told by the secretary lady that he needed to bribe them to get his money. And Gambia Bay along with Tembo, the whole Gambia knows at that time, the, PP Jamanokono, the time of the PPP, things that were happening in this country, corruption, obe fana beleto, corruption was everywhere. Because personally, myself, I have an example out for, for that corruption. May on the 4th, 1994. May on the May on the 4th of May 1994. My my father died. Ntara curator, Minister of Justice. I went to the curator at the Minister of Justice. So that I can get his little pension, which is very small. But uh, it's it is his money. I went there since May. For July, take over time. Up to July, the time the, we took over. Every day I got there. And every day. Till one day there was a woman there. Secretary Long. She was a secretary. Officer. She told me, Officer. I see you every time you come here. What brings you here? I told her, you are the people why I am here every day. I came to collect my father's money. Sanabi Sabali continued to say upon taking up the country, they received information that certain military officers at the Yundum barracks were planning a coup and they went to the barracks to fight the unknown enemy. Okay, in Yundum barracks, is Lieutenant Baro there? He said, no, he's not there, but I believe he is coming. Index. Another call came from this airport, and this was one Lance Corporal Kebe. But here we have two Lance Corporal Kebe's at the time in the military. Lance Corporal Kebe Alaji and Lance Corporal Kebe Amadou. But at this particular point in time, I could not identify exactly who among these two was being talked about. But it was like Alaji, uh, Lance Corporal Kebe was talking from the airport. He also was asking the same situation if Lieutenant Barrow was in the camp. I told Ibrahim B.I., communicate normal. And then he told him, no, he was not here, but maybe very soon. What happened after that? After that, we took Ibrahim B.I. out. We kept him in the cells, I believe, if I could fully remember. And then we went to the guard room. At the guard room, we ambushed. We laid low. Since we now know left number is coming, we laid ambush for him. When he came, he was arrested. He continued that Lieutenant Basiru Baro and Dot Fal were executed at the Fajara barracks, while some of the officials were taken to Nyambai Forest in Brikama, where they were shot at plain blank range. We removed the head of the snake, and the body was useless. This is a military term. You executed the head of the snake? Completely. Can you tell us how that happened? I stood the soldiers and told them, we have to kill Baro and Dot Fal. They were the ringleaders. Here we were concerned only for the ringleaders at this particular point in time. So they were secluded? Yes. And then what happened? We shot them. And I personally, I initiated the shooting. 
And it was not just you who shot. Y members of your team shot. Could be. Not could be. They did shoot. Here, I would say, if all of us have fired, there would have been a lot of casualties. None of them uh, could have come out. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Savali, yeah. uh, you are under oath. Okay. And uh, the former vice president of the APRC, Sana Sabali, who later fell out with the council, acknowledged his wrongdoings at the time and pleaded for forgiveness and mercy from victims and the general public at large. But proceedings are adjourned till tomorrow, Thursday, to complete his testimony. Sajo Sambo, I Africa TV News.